Now let's look at complete linkage. It is exactly the same data set as we have seen before. The only difference is we're now doing complete linkage instead of single linkage. Recall complete linkage measures the distance between two clusters by the furthest point between them. So we have, uh, again, I'm going to start connecting more and more clusters. In the beginning, this looks very much like single linkage in that we're seeing uh, very close by points being connected into clusters. So, so far, complete linkage and single linkage look almost identical. Let's do a couple more steps. Now you might notice that uh, uh, the cluster structure seems different than single linkage because now we have uh, many small clusters and we do not have uh, somewhat long clusters like in single linkage. Recall we have uh, those like earthworm-like clusters. That's not showing up here. Let's do a couple more steps. Now this is even more evident and interestingly at this moment um, complete linkage decides to connect between the two arms. So if you look at the clusters at this moment, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clusters. Uh, and one of them is the one in the middle that connects the two arms. The way to think about these clusters is, uh, imagine you can uh, think of them as connected components, but think of the, uh, there's a ball that um, you know contains each cluster. So draw a little circle uh, that contains each individual clusters. We will see that these balls are roughly the same radius. So this is very different than single linkage, where in single linkage we could have very long clusters that follows the manifold, while in complete linkage we do not see that. Instead, the clusters tend to be round clusters. So let's keep going. Uh, we have now uh, one, two, three, four, five clusters left. Again, um, each cluster, if you look at the, um, the, the surrounding ball, they tend to have similar radius. Now, okay, so now I think we are down to two clusters. And this solution is very different than uh, single linkage. Remember, the data set is identical. So here in complete linkage, when we have these two clusters, complete linkage tries to make the clusters into similar sized balls. So that's why we're seeing this like two um, clusters that are each sort of tight and circular, but they certainly do not follow the uh, manifold structure, the two arm structure. Let's connect them in the end. Okay, again, we see a pretty large jump on the right hand side uh, between the uh, cluster, uh, the complete linkage distance. So again, we could cut at this point and say, hey, there are two clusters. Um, but the really the important thing to notice is uh, when you use complete linkage, the clusters tends to be circular while Back in single linkage, we tend to have clusters that uh, follow the uh, manifold structure.